How's that? Good. So at the agricultural supply, Henry. At the uh, at the agricultural supply store down in the town next to us here, they had a sale on cast iron. So they had this whole box of cast iron cookware for 50 bucks. So I really couldn't pass that up because uh, I like cooking with cast iron. But I think a lot of people are either, they don't know enough about it or they don't know how to season the cast iron properly or how to take care of it. So today we're going to take our brand new cast iron and season it and you'll learn about how to cook with it. And uh, we'll watch Henry chew this. Up here, up, 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 up. So we've opened up our box of cast iron. There's a ton of stuff in here. Um, I've got a griddle, fry pan, a saucepan, and a Dutch oven. I already have one Dutch oven, but this one's kind of neat in that it has a concave lid, which means that you can put this one in like a fireplace or a wood wood fire or a charcoal fire for that matter and then stack additional coals on the top of the lid here so you know you could dump some charcoal on there and you could bake bread or a stew or whatever so you, mean, you like bury it you could bury it in the fire yeah and then you've got the lid here and then you've got this gizmo here to pull it back out well that's not the perfect world but what do you want for fifty dollars for cast iron. Uh, let me show you, I already, I have a griddle like this already that I've had for a couple of years. And this is what the seasoned cast iron looks like, as opposed to... It looks dirty. So this is a seasoned griddle that I've had for a couple of years, and this is the brand new griddle here. You can see here, this is really nice and smooth. What seasoning does is it fills out the high and the low spots of the grill and the oil basically gets absorbed by the steel and it creates a non-stick surface. So this is, is really quite good. When you're using cast iron, you basically, you, you oil it, you cook your food, and then when you're done, you just wash it down with some water and uh, like a, a sponge or a nylon scrubby. You can use a tiny, tiny bit of soap if you want. Um, it just depends on how much crud is on there. If it's seasoned well, the stuff should come right off. The first thing you want to do when you're going to start seasoning is you have to preheat your oven here. I turn on the oven to about 300 degrees. That's on. This is my Dutch oven that I've had for a couple of years. And you can see how nice and black that is. You have a question? I have a question. Can you lift the lid up again? Yeah. What are those bumps? Uh, those bumps allow water that is condensed up in here to drip back onto the food or juices that you know that come out of the steam when you're braising something or cook it in the oven that they collect here and they drop back onto the food. Clever. Instead of going along the edge here and falling off, they drop onto the food rather than off onto the edge. Does the new one have that? Uh, I don't think so. No, it doesn't. I'm only going to season one piece of cast iron to show you how to do this, but we're going to take the fry pan. We're just gonna wash it with a little bit of soap and water. Oop, that was the other one. Good luck with that. Are we out of soap? Mm -hmm. you open the lid? Can you open the lid? So just wash this off. You, do, you basically just wanna get off, you know, it's been in a factory being manufactured, so in case there's any oils or stuff on it. Oh, I hear the washing machine. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. Yeah, the washing machine episode is coming. And then the washing machine is preparing for takeoff. I think one of the stabilizer springs in the washing machine is broken. and I just haven't taken apart the washing machine yet to fix that. But that is something you can do. I mean, you don't have to just throw out the washing machine and get a new one. When you're going to season cast iron, you want to use some vegetable shortening and have some paper towels maybe. You know, everyone's got an opinion on how to season cast iron. This is how I do it. Um, some of your friends may have a different opinion about this. But what I do is I wash this with soap and water, then I take some shortening and I just coat it, the whole thing, and I do the outside as well. Will you be cooking on the outside? No, but I just like the color. You take this. I'm gonna, I'll leave it in there 
for about a half an hour to an hour and then I'll take it out and I'm going to add more shortening and put it in there again and I'll, you can do that once you can do it three times the, the more times you season it from the get-go the better it will be earlier on the, the anti-stick or the whatever that word is I'm thinking of Teflon? The Teflon Essity of cast iron. Essity? Oh, Essity. Got it. Teflon, like elasticity, Teflon Essity. Got it. Yum, grilled cheese. Oh, and the, the griddle makes great grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> anyway, the more you season it, you know, if you do it two or three times, it'll be quite fine. A couple of things about cast iron. You don't want to store food in cast iron. There is a light blinking. It's the tape light. Oh. Okay, when you're done baking everything in your oven, it, it looks like this. It's not going to be completely black, it's, it's, but it's going to start to get darker. When you bake this in the oven, it's going to smoke. So you either want to turn on the range hood or open up the windows. You can even do this on a gas grill outside, even if it's the middle of the winter. You just put the, close the lid, put them in, turn up the heat all the way, and let them cook, and then come back and repaste them a couple times with oil. To clean them, it's really simple. You just basically put your griddle or put your cast iron in your sink. I use a copper scrubbing pad with no soap on it. If you've got something that's really stuck, some people use salt because it's like an abrasive. You can use this to cut the dirt off. Or there are some people, and I think this is totally fine, use a tiny, tiny bit of soap. It's like this griddle, it has just, a, it has some grease stuck in the corners and a little bit of soap, it'll cut it right out. After you've washed your cast iron, you need to just dry it off. The quickest way to dry it off, I've found, is to put it back on the stove. After this is dried, what I do is I have one of these oil sprayer gizmos with some vegetable oil, and I just spray that on really lightly, turn off the heat, and I just oil it back up again. Since the griddle is hot, the cast iron is hot, the oil sinks into the pores, let it cool off, and then put it away. <laughs> internet celebrity sneezes. Yeah, internet celebrity sneeze. Put put that on YouTube. <laughs>